Brian from Lubell Labs. Uh, today we're going to set up the cause air and underwater sound system and uh, plug in an underwater speaker, plug in a sound card, and uh, get the system underway. This is, uh, this is the sound system. This is a Chaya Stage Man. Right now it's plugged in uh, and charging. It's got about a uh, 10 to 12 hour battery life. Uh, at the end of the day after using it, uh, go ahead and plug it in, let it charge overnight, and you should be good to go. And here are the components of the sound system. Uh, here's a LL916H underwater speaker made by Lubell Labs. Uh, the H designates the harness that's on the speaker uh, for attaching a rope to for hanging it in the water. Uh, we also have a LL916C model that's a cage mounted speaker. Uh, it's a little less, uh, it's a little higher profile. Uh, so sometimes if you are in a low profile situation where you want to carry the minimal amount, uh, you could go with the harness mount, although the cage mounted speaker is a lot more rugged. Um, anyway, uh, here are the components of the system the speaker, uh, the AC202 isolation transformer box. Um, it's got a uh, isolation transformer for safety. Uh, it's also got a uh, heavy uh, power resistor inside it and a tuned uh, inductance in the circuit uh, to match the underwater speaker which is a sonar type speaker uh, for broadband uh, high fidelity use. So you always want to use the transformer box with the speaker and the amplifier. Um, here's the connector. It's a three pin connector with a locking collar. It's a little tricky putting it on the first time, but you uh, you turn this until it engages. Then you push in. You gotta turn the collar so it will actually slide on. There it's slid on. Now you can lock this if you want or you can just leave it right like so. Next step is taking the little patch cord that comes with the box, plugging it in, and on the back of the sound system you see a, a speaker out jack. You simply plug that in right there, and you're pretty much ready to go in that regard. Yeah, here's a little USB drive that I've uh, put some songs on, and what we'll do is go over to the sound system and make sure that um, okay it's turned on let's turn on the uh, receiver here turn the volume up all the way on here we'll start with the this is the volume control for the built-in air speaker let's zoom in on that so you can see what it says it says master there's your treble and bass right under it you want to make sure these controls are straight up at all times. They've got it's got like a center indent so it'll lock in. So with that being done, uh, oh, and here's the underwater speaker volume right here. So let's take our card, insert it in the slot. Right way helps. And it will immediately start reading it and playing. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. So this volume again is for the built-in air speaker. So let's turn that down. This volume's for the underwater speaker. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. And once you the speaker sounds a little funny in the air right now. It's designed for underwater use. That's where it sees its proper impedance. Uh, you do want to use the speaker at a minimum depth of six feet and a maximum depth of 50 feet and it's okay to put the speaker on the bottom of the pool. So you can drop the underwater speaker in the water, tie it in place. Always keep the sound systems a minimum distance of 10 feet back from the side of the pool. Uh, that's a national electrical code requirement and it's just a good idea. Um, let's go ahead and unplug the charger. And you can see right now that it's got a uh, 
full charge. Uh, you can see the VU meter is just barely indicating right now. Well, let's go ahead and bring it up. I usually bring the underwater speaker up most of the way when you're uh, in like a 25 yard pool. You can do it by taste, but I would start with that up most of the way. And then just bring up your air volume to get enough sound on the deck. And if you want to uh, change your controls on, on here, you can scan, uh, scan up to the next song. Uh, here we go. Sounds like Claude playing. stop control. This unit will actually record also, uh, but you can read more in the manual about doing that. And then here's the Bluetooth, and uh, you can use this for linking with your phone or iPod or whatever you wish. Anyway, that uh, wraps up the initial demonstration of this. Thanks for watching.